Earlier, if you see the enlightened persons, their earlier life itself, it seems as if they were born as enlightened persons. But the people who have already have grown up so much and we have lived life like this, is there a chance of getting enlightened on top to this age? So then I must tell you the story that, uh, you know, about two years ago, a group of doctors from uh, United States, they were visiting India and they happened to be in Mysore. Without even my knowledge, they happened to go and visit my father. And uh, uh <laughs> because uh, he happens to be a physician and uh, you know in India, unless you become a doctor, you are no good for anything at one time. At least when we were growing up, if you don't go to medicine, that means you're not good for anything else, that's how it is. So they went there and uh, they want to meet Sadhguru's father and talk to him, many things. So they said, we want to know something about his childhood, can, I say, can you tell us something? So my father said, he was such a dull boy, I don't know what happened to him, now he's become a genius <laughs> So it can happen, you know. Now, uh, you need to understand this. Nobody comes uh, enlightened as such. Yes, maybe somebody has done more work elsewhere and they have come with a little more oriented towards that. But what I'm telling you is, it is not necessarily always the pleasantness and the beauty of life which turns you inward. For many people, it is also the misery of life which turns them inward, isn't it? So whatever happened in your life, positive happened or negative happened, you could easily turn it into an advantageous thing. Especially if your experience of life is horrid, you must become wiser sooner than anybody else, isn't it so? But instead of becoming wise, people become wounded. So that's a choice that they're making. So, do not look at it this way, every human being has come with the same possibility when it comes to the inner dimension. It is just left unexplored, that's the only problem. Because now, this idea that somebody has come with some special capabilities is a prejudiced idea, isn't it? Whatever kind of mind you have, it is a certain kind of prejudice, please see this. It so happened one day, Shankaran Pillai died, you heard of him? Shankaran Pillai died and he went to heaven. When he went to heaven, God was at the gate and uh, God said, Oh, it's nice that you have come, but if you have to enter the heaven, there is a test. Shankaran Pillai rolled his eyeballs, what test? Here, I thought I made it. Then God said, No, no, you have to spell a word. Said, what? I have to spell a word, this God is some kind of a school teacher? What is the word? So God said, you have to spell the word love. Shankaran Pillai thought, it looks easy enough, it must be L-U-V, L-E-V. Uh, you know, many times, he's told many people that he loves them, but he never wrote on the paper. So he struggled with it, L-E-L-O, L-O, V-E. God said, you made it, come. And he opened the gate, let him in, and then he said, I have a few small chores to finish, I'll finish and come. Can you keep the gate for me for some time? Substituting for God, it feels good, isn't it? He said, that's a great job as soon as I come. He said, sure, I'll keep it. So he stood there and he was strutting around a little bit, and he heard a little noise, and he turned around and he saw his wife was outside the gate. <laughs> he said, no, no, you cannot come here, this is not a local bar or something for you to follow me. I'm in heaven. So the wife said, I know, I was just driving back from the funeral, I crashed the car and here I am. <laughs> he said, that's okay, you came here but you have to spell a word, otherwise you cannot get in. She said, what rubbish, if you have spelt the damn word, <laughs> can't I spell it, tell me what's the word? He just looked at her 
and said, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> so, it's a certain kind of prejudice. Don't create that about this aspect of life. When it comes to inner dimension, at least here in the outer world, we are not able to drop our prejudice against each other. At least in the inner dimension, let's give it up.